protects individual rights. And let me just read what that is. This resolution finds, it finds, that the terrorist finance tracking program has been conducted in accordance with all applicable laws, regulations, and executive orders, that appropriate safeguards and reviews have been instituted to protect individual civil liberties, and that Congress has been appropriately informed and consulted for the duration of the program and will continue its oversight of the program. Continue its oversight of the program there's never been any oversight of the program. The fact is, because there has never been any oversight of the program, there isn't one person in this body who will vote on this resolution can attest to this statement. You're asking us to vote on something that we absolutely cannot attest to. Not any one of you can attest to this as a fact, because it isn't a fact. So let's, let's just go to where we began, to our founders, liberty and security. As I've said before, when the identity of an undercover CIA officer was disclosed by high-ranking members of the administration as part of a smear uh, tactic, nothing was done. Nothing was done by this Congress in terms of oversight. Nothing has been done. The Frank substitute does not contain any of these unsupported conclusions. The Frank solution, resolution, substitute is a resolution that is balanced and accurate and should command the support of all members. I intend to vote against this resolution. I wish that we could have the chance to vote uh, for Mr. Frank's resolution. I think that would have been in keeping with the intentions of our founding fathers. But let's keep in mind their constant admonition that in order to have security, we must have freedom. And in order to have freedom, we must have security. We must have the balance. This resolution does not. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman from Ohio. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker I ask you to consent that the chair be authorized to reduce to five minutes the minimum time.